Okay. But yeah, you're telling me that you don't really care about Soul Queue. Uh, not, not at this point. Yeah. Not, not after the the games that I'm getting into. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, that makes it really hard for me in terms of. Uh, I can't force you to play solo queue. I can't force you to try having solo queue. But you need to think of it like, uh, are you full time right now? Um, or you not like? Learning? No, no. I I do like work, but yeah. I've lessened the hours of my work to do some of this. Okay. So you need you need to think of it like you cannot scrim inside it, right? It's pretty impossible unless yep. you know. You do double scrim block, but it is your practice hours, so you need to get the most of it. How do you get the most of it? Well, you only focus on yourself. So if someone is making a mistake or someone is completely griefing it, just don't let it get to you, right? Why right bother? So when you are playing, what I, would, what I would say to you is you need to just zone in and tunnel vision completely on yourself and your own gameplay. So... Like, how are you playing in lane? Just watch the first 10 minutes of the game. Look at your uh, movement. Look at your trading patterns, everything. See if there's something you can improve. Because it is your training hours. And if you, like, let's just say you play like this for four games straight. And you don't care and you sit in alt, like, alt tab, right? You're not going to get anything from it. And th that's just the reality of it, right? Um, yep. And as I said to you, I do it myself. I just don't have the motivation to play, but I'm assuming you want to be pro, like pro player, right? And uh, yeah. Like live of it fully. So yeah, you obviously need to get high elo, just to like if you play well in competitive and you also high elo, you got all your bases covered. Um, so just zone in on yourself. How are you reading the map? Like, are you moving correctly on the map? Are you positioning yourself correctly? Are you trading correctly? Do you have the right understanding of the matchups, right? Yeah. And if you if you don't, and if you do not uh, like care at all, or what you replace, then obviously you're just wasting your training hours, and you only get the free scrim games or five, depending on how many you play, right? Um. So, not much to say other than you know, <laughs> if you are not. Uh, playing to win and you don't care about optimization and you just LTAP then you obviously will not build correctly, play correctly or even care so uh, mm, but what champs do you play when you want to when you want to try hard or you want to win um I, I play like I try to pick what's sort of the best or like what I think is the best into enemy and like good with the team but yeah so, so it, it can be like drafting dependent yeah, yeah. okay so you much. don't have you know certain certain champs that you that you use to or abuse to clamp like let's say Rakan or Nami or Yumi or whatever right I mean if, if I just want to like completely climb and, and not worry about improving or anything I'll just play, play like Janna Alistair uh, Yumi some some Rakan not list just like mm. probably five or six different champs. Okay. Um, obviously, if you want to climb solo queue, you should have like a very distinct champ pool. That could be uh, Jenna as your blind pick can work right if enemies are, are bad, which they usually are. And uh, I mean, what did you say, Jenna, Seraphine, or not Jenna? When, when I did the when I climbed to like. It's 40, I just played like Janna Alistair pretty much. Yeah. Just like two tricked it. Yeah, yeah. And no matter what, no matter the like the state of the solo queue or whatever, like you no matter how good it is, playing two champions is always is always gonna be better than six, right? Yeah. Which I can see that you are doing. And you said yourself, and it is also true, in solo queue, you cannot improve on on macro, you cannot improve on on reading the map because no one is doing it they're just playing to fight right yeah so either you adapt to the environment or you just don't care and the way you adapt is you pick champs that are good for that and then in solo queue or in scrim you 
you try to learn, right? So you can uh, like use the entire game to learn and not only the laning laning phase and yep. uh, your own improvement in lane or whatever. Uh, so you need to adapt your um, temple to the environment you're in, which is a really shitty thing to say. And believe me, I don't want to say it, but it's just how it is uh, in solo queue. And champs that fight well, that could be Alistar, that could be Jenna, that could be Rakan, right? Champs that fight well have decent uh, laning phase um, and can move on the map are usually better for solo queue. And that's also why you see Bard one tricks and Bard players being so high elo all the time. They don't really know anything about the game normally, but they know how to play the map. Yeah. Um, and I that's mean, how you need to play in solo queue. That makes sense, but if you look at like like a lot of the high elo supports i think the the majority are like sona one tricks or, or bard one tricks <laughs> and I, I, feel, I feel like if i'm just gonna you know sell my soul and, and, and delve into that then it's just a complete waste of time yeah but it, I, I know you still need like high elo and stuff to get on uh better teams and stuff yeah yeah like again right it's just i know you don't care about solo queue neither do i think you need to care uh to be a good player uh for sure but I'm just explaining to you what you need to do if you want to be high elo, right? Yeah. Um, because, as, as I said, right, it is important if you want to reach a good team. But I, I don't think, like, reviewing OPG is going to do much. Uh, of course, we can talk about builds, but it seems to me that you are doing quite fine. Both with your boots here and... Uh, I mean, Sorelis is also good this game. Um... But it seems to me that you are. And I also did your OPGG before, right? Yeah. On stream. So uh, I already know what you're about. Um, but yeah, I think that's that. Uh, it's not the main main reason you're here, of course. Yeah. Um, all right. Is this game from um, yesterday? Uh, yes. Yeah, it was yesterday. And I full screen this as I can. All right, so um, just talk to me about the game plan. Like, what are we aiming to do? Also for you, like the important thing for you when you go over your game plan is, is there any lane that I can do something in, right? Other than my, my bot lane, right? In terms of when do I have to roam, if I have to roam. And let's say for you, it could be if we have push a bot lane, then we do... Uh, we push free, send a resets, I roam, right? I roam for top scuttle or mid lane gank with uh, Talon, right? Yeah. Um, so that's the important thing when you are thinking about roam. But of course, you need to think about your lane first. How do we need to play trades? How do we need to position ourselves? All that jazz. And if you don't think about this, you cannot really improve on your laning phase. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if you remember. But you should still yeah. be able to tell from from here what should be our game plan uh, going into this game. Um, so in lane, I think they can get they they. I mean, they pretty much dictate the prior. They can get it if they want because mm -hmm. they have Jinx Q and Lethal Tempo and stuff. She'll just proc it and one shot wave. Yeah. Um. So I'm just thinking like a is really strong early. Mm -hmm. So I, as long as I position in front of Senna, then we should win the trades. But yeah. we shouldn't really fight for wave prior, or we'll we'll get a bit fucked. Yeah. Um, Obviously, then, your champ is not a champ, level one. Yeah. Um, yeah, keep going, keep going. And then I think I can I can do stuff mid because we have right, uh, set up with Rise, mm -hmm. but we also have Talon who wants to just like full clear a bit. Yeah. Until he's like six. Obviously, uh, your, that champ can full clear before Skull spawn, so he's going to yeah, want to full yeah. clear. Um, but do we have anything set up? Right? It doesn't have to be set up from. Uh, level 1 to 3, it can be even further. So, you're saying to me that Talon wants to full clear, you want to give prior, and we have set up mid lane. Uh, does that mean we, we can do something with that? Um, I mean, I think because they get prior bot, we path top side. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to get Talon full clear, and then uh, he will be bot on like the next jungle camp spawn. Yeah. And we can like fight then, I guess. Mm -hmm. And Rise has like better better movement. Yeah. So he can also move down. So what we could do is 
on I mean I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be third wave. So on third wave uh from Jinx and Amumu, the wave is gonna start bouncing. And then on four five, maybe even like maybe even six, depending on how, how we play it, we can maybe dive them. Because we have uh mid lane prior, we have talent coming from top side uh clear down to bot, and then we can make a play on that. Um but it doesn't mean that we have to do it, right? It just means that it's an option. We can also use that to get first move on you, and then you can reset and move mid. Um, we just, we just in, in competitive for sure, right? Where everything should be set in stone. You need to be able to, uh, to make these plans. And maybe you're drafting, like you're drafting around the fact that you want to have a certain plan, but. Um, we need to be able to adapt to the situation, of course, but we need to have a certain plan set in, set in mind. And for a laning phase here, it's just give up prio. We can't really fight. Uh, and then on third wave, we're going to need cover on 4-5 on if they let the wave, uh, the wave bounce. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's, let's move into it. Little cover. Any reason for the for the ward from you here instead of uh, here? Um, I think because they, they get prior, then we can't really contest bushes. Yeah. Nice. So good, good, good. I can't really ward. Good, good. And I mean, would we rather ward there or uh, like let's say we ward here, right? Would we rather ward here, or just save the ward, or is the reason for the ward that they might late invade? And you're also placing the ward correctly, so that's really nice. Yeah, I was conscious of a possible late invade. Yeah, because uh, like Talon's really weak level one, so mm -hmm. they can they can abuse it a bit. But yeah, I think yeah. I shouldn't I shouldn't have swapped the sweeper maybe, and I should save trinket for mid wave uh, for, for mid lane because this mid lane will be like very um, influenced by support rooms. So yes. I think. I think I should just cover or uh, save Trinket and and cover my rise. Yeah. So he's he's like less susceptible to ganks. Mm -hmm. Because you're not gonna use the sweeper for anything, right? Because the, yep. the thing that's gonna happen in lane is that they're gonna push free and then you're gonna bounce and then you're gonna reset. So you're not gonna yep. use the sweeper for anything. Um. So yes, for sure. We give good leash, it's good. Doesn't matter for you, right? You have to get prior no matter what. Yeah, yeah. and they kind of give the wave state a little bit, but this is fine. You're maybe a little bit too far up in lane, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I should just sit in this bush here. Yeah. What you also can do, we want to make them push relatively fast, right? Is that you can walk in here, give him one Q with the or one one auto with the with the bump, and then it will help push. But yeah. it, it doesn't really matter. We just want to be healthy since Talon is pushing away from you, or Talon is uh, pathing away from you, and uh, enemy jungle is pathing to you. So you just want to be healthy. You don't want to trade, right? Because um, just to quickly talk about it. If you trade now, and let's just say he goes 50%, you go 40%, that's 40% less uh, HP if they decide to go for a dive or something, right? Yeah. And we don't want that. So we don't want to trade at all if we can avoid it. I mean, I think the thing about standing in the wave, though, is it not just bad to do that? Cause they... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just talking in general. Here it's not good yeah, at all, yeah. right? Because yeah. you're going to lose you're gonna lose HP. But just... Uh, you're gonna lose HP and Talon is pathing away from you and he's pathing to you, but... Uh, I think it's just for like the, the slow push as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Away will be fucked. Exactly. And um, what I meant with it is not here, because here it's not doable, or you shouldn't do it because you lose HP. But in another situation, if you want to make them push two instead of three, 
then um, you can just stand and wave and force him to hit with with the with the Q right. But yep. here it is for sure not not the play because you don't want to lose HP more than necessary at least. Um, and obviously there is not much to say. You just have to give the wave state, uh, and it doesn't really matter how you position yourself. So it's only after the wave is pushed in and we start bouncing. And I need to hear your comps, of course. Uh, you don't have to hear it, but... Okay. Uh... I think my, my comps are pretty bad in uh, in general in uh, yesterday. Okay. I mean, that's obviously important. I'm going to make sure that you can listen along. So yeah. I'll change it here. Now you can see the epic pen, but it doesn't really matter. Can you see it or is it completely widescreen? Uh, I can see it now. Okay, perfect. Um, but yeah, we should not be stacking up, of course, because we just lose our bone plating for free. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he gets double value from it. And we want them to push free because it gives Talon some space, right? Yeah. Because if they push two here, then Talon cannot cover you on bounce back. And then they can maybe gank. So we want we want them to push free. Because then Talon gets two waves to play on. And Scooter is going to love that. Yeah. Yeah, and now Talon is done with full clear soon. We want him to reset. I'm not sure if you're saying it, but we need to listen. Yep. We can hard push then. We have to. If we slow push, we're gonna be fucked on next wave. I'm playing hard in two top sides. You will just hold we it with mid. We might have to let the priest if Nilly's here. Yeah. Nilly's part I mean, for sure. Okay. You can just let them then. Just gonna. Yeah. And this I mean, I, I'm not really sure what, what what's good to do here because if we like try and stop it, and it could just be in the in the bush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, and... Is it just worth it to let it freeze and then reset with stronger items? I mean, you kind of have to, right? Because if you yeah. walk up here, I mean, I don't know where the enemy AD is, but I'm I'm gonna assume that he he just reset. Yeah, he did. Um, since he's not showing, but Nidalee can easily be here and then. ADC comes and you're kind of shitty. Like you're you're in a shitty situation, and you as Leona cannot do anything here because if you jump on him, then you're way too overextended. Uh, so this is a somewhat of a chain reaction. Want to base? Want a cheater? Um, okay. Yeah. After head claims, like three claims into mid. One sec. I'm just trying to shove in time, but I don't. Uh, here uh, we want to, we want to see if we can if we can delay the push right if we can delay the slow push and we can maybe slow push here instead of up here on the next wave how how do we do that well there is some things you can do so here I uh, just want to see one second the wave comes in Here, when wave comes in, you need to try and see if you can delay, like delay the push. So here, you wanna hit them. Uh, it's possible, yeah. Yeah, look, look at the cannon, right? This is really bad. Mm. This is really, really bad because we want the next wave, this wave right here. We want it to stand here. If we can make it stand here, then you're gonna like on the um, on the last, the the next minion wave, right? This one, you're gonna be farming it here, and you can slow push here instead of up here. But because you take the cannon so early, um, like the cannon takes a lot of a lot of hits, right? It takes a yeah. lot of hits. We want them. We want the cannon to take hits because then we can force the wave to come in, and then we can farm the next wave here and the next wave here instead of completely up at the tower, right? And this is not something that you really think about because it's something that needs to be thought about in order to to happen. And this leads to a chain reaction where you are now fucked and you had you have to give freeze. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking, 
I mean, I was I had like a slight thought, but I didn't really like do anything from it. But I was thinking if we can like one shot this wave quick and then just equalize the lane and then we have like good reset and it won't be too fucked. Yeah, that that is also. But the wave's a bit big for it, I think. Yeah, exactly. That is also like if if that's the thought process, I don't mind. But you know, we. Are, I mean, first of all, I'm I'm just gonna assume that you didn't say anything. We can yeah. just roll it. So I'm gonna assume that you're gonna talk about it here. I feel like I do this a lot, where I'm thinking one thing, but doing the other. Oh, I don't, I don't know. HP on mid. Yeah. Yeah, and kill him if he stays here. I lost my flash, though. Yeah. Especially. He, he will base TP, I think. Italy might have to flash on you, after I had trams. Like, two yeah. trams into mid. I'm just trying to shove in time, but I don't think I will. So, you're He's not saying anything, game. right? Yeah, you're not really talking about what you want to do with yeah. the wave, but we already know from champ select when we lock these two champs into these two champs that the wave is gonna bounce, right? The wave is gonna yeah. bounce, and we want the we want the wave to bounce in a way where it benefits you and not them, because cheater recalling is nice, but if you then get to cheater two waves after, you just get better base, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna assume that you didn't talk about this in champ select, <laughs> but yeah. you should be talking about. You know, wave is gonna bounce. How do we make it in a way where it doesn't completely fuck us over, or we are forced to now walk up in a very dangerous spot where we can get ganked and and die? Um, so you need to talk about the cannon and what you need to do with the cannon wave. We need to take it as slow as possible, so the next wave we farm here and the next wave we farm in the middle, instead of farming it so far up the lane that we are fucked. Yep. And it's so important because it can basically be game losing. It can also be game winning because if you get the base off and you don't die and they now have to catch two waves, you have a lot of roam time, right? You have roam, roam time where you can even walk top, reset, walk bot, or walk mid, look for play with Scoot and then walk bot or reset. Because you have two, maybe three, I guess two, right? Because it's canon, but you have two waves to play on. Yeah. Uh, instead of creating this very scary scenario where you are forced to look for it for like not like look to unfreeze the wave with Leona that cannot do anything and then Senna has to do it alone. I will just base to be on this. I got tier from the, the on like the two, two wave team. bounce after, is it like we pretty much need talent bot, don't we? Yes, we do, we do. But then do we not just like lose the three V three because they're back with items? Um, I mean, you have the huge wave, so you can count that as an extra person. But we can also talk yeah. about, you know, uh, top laner being able to TP or mid laner being able to TP or mid laner being able to walk down. And then we are like, I'm going to assume that the Tronda doesn't have TP, right? So we can abuse yeah. the, the, the rise TP to create a, a scenario where we have more members. But you also have the huge wave, right? You also have like 10 minions. That will help you in the fight if you fight in the wave. Yeah, but we can talk about this being a possibility and how how we abuse it. Because if if we are in a situation where we just lose the free free, like how do you then win the game, right? Because you cannot do anything with the wave and you just lose. But if you talk about it and you talk about TP into bot or top lane is setting up his wave in a way where he can then TP bot, then you can win, right? Yeah. Uh, because you are in a very serious, like very very serious, like shitty situation where if you draft this and then we just don't care, then your bot lane and wave is fucked. And what do you do? There's really nothing yeah. to do. Um, but yeah, can you see how this is like this is the chain reaction? And then yeah, like what you are saying about deleting the wave and then uh, having the wave in the middle, that's completely fine. But if we do that, then we need to talk about it. And we yep. need to talk about, you know, already here, we need to fin the wave as much as possible so that the wave is not stacking up and then bouncing, right? Yeah. Uh, you can't see the pen, but you will see the recording, so it doesn't okay. matter. Okay. I think yeah. I have no choice. Yeah. I will just base to be on this. I got tier from my base. Yeah, and I will remove okay. the sound again. But yeah, now wave is bouncing, right? Because yep. now they start stacking up, and now we are in a poo poo situation where you don't really have a choice other than to push this wave. Because if you then, um, if you push or you slow stack this wave, 
uh, with the next wave, then you have to like collect the wave all the way up here. And that is not a good spot because the Nida can just come from here and the Mumu can come from from here. Like this is not good, right? So you, you have to take the wave. And what you do here is the correct choice, I would say. But we can do it in a way where we have to collect the second wave here. Yeah. If we just force the first wave to be here by not smashing the cannon. Yeah, and uh, now this comes. Now, I mean, we don't get the base off, so Senna doesn't have any mana. You still go for the base, because now the wave is bouncing, and that's obviously fine, but you don't get to reset, and there's no real thought process, because now I'm like Tronomir gets a free lane, relatively free, and Amumu has the move. He would have the move anyways, but. We would be able to match it just yeah. a tiny bit later. Or even like able to use the rise movement with the second wave to maybe dive them with the 10 minion stack, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, now you are... Now they have first move. And you can't really do anything about that. And obviously we need to speak about that. Um, him having the move. But ah, you see how this this snowballs from you taking the cannon pretty much. Yeah. Because now we cannot pressure them with their cheater recall. They cheater recall and we cannot pressure them with a dive or with... Like if a Mumu moves, we can dive him. Uh, the Jinx. Yeah, and the same situation happens again, where they now uh, are slow stacking the wave, and you have to collect the wave. And uh, what do you do? Here you try to do it like very slowly, and that's fine, because now we slow push again, and here we should just slow push two, not one. But yeah, you don't get to play your champion, right? Your champion likes to roam, your champion likes to be in uh, 3v3 fights. It likes to fight. It doesn't like to sit still and do nothing. Yeah. And we kind of we kind of put ourselves in this situation by taking the cannon uh, so early. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you can't go in because your champ doesn't do anything in lane. And what do you do when your champ doesn't do anything in lane? You don't play the lane. Right? We play as little lane as we possibly can. So that's also where that comes in. Because your champion doesn't do anything now. He just sits mm -hmm. there and does nothing. Because you don't really have a choice. Um, but yeah, we need to try and see if we can if we can push this wave in without getting fucked. So you're trying to slow push again, that's fine. It just gives you more more room. Yeah. And we just straight wave wave state. Which is not bad for them, but it's bad for you because you don't get to again like you cannot go in, in this lane. They will just win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think we picked Leona pretty early in this draft. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how good that is. Uh, I mean, if a Mumu is up, then, you know, a Mumu is always yeah. a better choice. Uh, since it's just a better Leona. But, I mean, now we can go in, right? We see Nidalee resetting. We have HP advantage. You just pop potion and fight them. Yeah. So now we should go in all the fucking way, right? I just entered. But you're a support player, so you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but like this I don't know, is our I just only walk up chance. In queue, I think. Yeah, exactly. You should just walk them down, right? Walk them yeah. down. When he goes for minion, he has to lock himself in animation, and you walk him down. This is the best opportunity you're ever gonna get in this lane. Because Nida roamed, Mumu is low HP, 
Uh, Jinx, relatively low HP, no mana. Mm, or, I mean, she has mana, right? But you know what I mean. You just pull yeah. the potion and run them down. Because you win here, for sure. A little bit of pixelated, whatever. Yeah. I, I think, think the answer we still fight it. Yeah, yeah, you should fight. And him jumping in here is completely troll. Right? Yeah. And this is the best opportunity that you like the best opportunity that you're going to get for sure. You should fight. And you also realize that, so that's really good. Um because now we have Rome timer and this creates a scenario where you can now play the game. Yeah. And what do we do with that Rome timer? Because we should look at the Rome timer already now, right? After we finish the fight with Jinx. You should look at what what Rome timer you can get and what you should use it for. So how many waves do we have to play on, first of all? And you should already now, right? Already now while you take the wave, you should look at top wave states, you should look at mid wave states, uh, look at Herald spawn, and think to yourself, do I need to move mid? Do I need to move top? Do I need to move straight to Herald? Usually the move straight to Herald is not a possibility and it should not be because you just ignore all visions, right? But move to mid here would be good. Because we get full vision around the objective and we can just play the Herald. Because the first Herald is a very crucial objective, right? Mm -hmm. It gives you so much tempo on the map. And I think, uh, I think now we call, we want to make a move Herald. But yeah. then we end up getting caught somewhere and then... Uh, I'm moving in flash, but Jinx pulls some. Yeah. Need to talk that, James? Hard push this. <laughs> yeah. At clear, we should dive top and next meter now timer that we have to do that. I'm gonna mirror shot base here. Yeah. Uh, I'm moving in flash, but Jinx pulls some. Right, right, and, and you're, you're, not, you're not saying a word, right? It should be set already here. It doesn't take brain capacity to like take the wave, right? Yeah. We know Nidalee is topside because she resets. Because we're lucky that we have a board here. But if she's reset, she's going to topside. And you don't need to think about anything. Right now, so what you should think, of, what you what you should be thinking about is, I need to move mid. Uh, I need to link up with my Talon when he takes this. This, I link up with him, and we put full vision around the herald, and we play the herald. Yep. Right. It doesn't take brain capacity to take this wave, so just ignore At it. Yeah, we should dive ignore top it. Next timer that we have. To do um. That. Yeah, and I don't know who is talking about diving the the top. Um, but we should be talking about the Herald, right? Yeah. We're talking about the Herald, we should be talking about I reset, or we reset, we move top, or I move top, send a move spot. Um, she shouldn't be moving top, but she can be moving mid or top lane, and then Nord reset, and we just play the Herald. Because the Herald is, they get the Drake, we should be getting something in return. If yeah. they get Drake and we do not have Herald set up, then we are trolling. Yeah, so we, we call it like after I finish recalling, I think, which is... Yeah, exactly. Really and that's late. bad, right? That is yeah. really bad because here, after you kill him, because they're trolling, right? And you should be killing them. Yeah. Now we know what's going to happen. Like, of course, taking the fight uh, and, and talking about the fight is completely fine. But the moment this is uh, gone, don't waste time. I'll really talk about next play is... Uh, or just say, we have wrong timer, I have move mid, screw it, link up with me. Yeah. Link up with me, and then just ping, link up with me here, here. We create some pressure around mid, get prio, put vision. And then place, or play for the herald, or maybe top dive. We don't have to take herald if we can dive top, and then herald after. I don't really care about the play, necessarily. I care about how you need to think, right? So, after kill. Boom. Think in steps. One. Um, what? Where do I need to be? Look mid. Look top. Look Harold. Where do I need to be? I need to be mid in this spot. Two. Where do I link up with my jungler? Uh, that can be here. That can be here. Link up. Uh, you can't see the, the pen, remember, but I'm, I'm writing. Yeah. Uh, and three. Set vision, right? Vision. Vision and then you make the play. So vision and four execution. Right? Yeah. So think in steps 
because it makes it super easy for you to think. Top and next meter now timer that we have together. Um, yeah, and we're talking about it here, as you can uh, hear, right? So. Right okay, now. And the owner wants to have this. Her temple. I can, I can, we I can. will have good tempo for this. Right? You, you hear that? Yeah. You you are react like you're reacting to what other people are saying. You should be the one saying, I'm roaming mid, tell and link up with me. Yeah. Right? It should be you while you are hitting the wave. Because it should not be you saying, I can, I can. You are the one who is supposed to like orchestrate the next play. Because you're the one who has to play, right? You're the one who has to play opportunity after you kill the Mumu. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah. Because now you are on a solo mission, right? Of course, like, he should not die here. Ever. Because uh, Amumu died, and we know that he's moving mid. That we didn't talk about as well, right? We didn't talk about the fact that Amumu is first because he's dead, right? And he doesn't have to be bot side. Um, we didn't talk about that, but that doesn't really matter because that should be obvious to the naked eye after he dies. Um, I mean, I think I should just be calling like more that I will just run mid, help Rise get prior, and then Amumu can't really. Yeah, well, like, you, at, least, at least match him. Exactly. What you need to do is, when you reset, you look at your jungler, even help him with camps if you need to, just to link up with him. You link up with him, right? Yeah. This is Talon, this is you. You can't see Pin, but you link up with him. Because you play the game together, you don't play solo queue, right? Because now yeah. you're on a solo mission. And that should never be the case in, in team play. That you are on a solo mission unless... You know, your jungler has to clear or whatever, right? But it should never be the case when you're trying to set up an objective, like the Herald here. Because how the fuck is this a possibility, right? Now now yeah. we can't make a play on the Herald. That should never be a possibility. And now they fucking get the Herald. That is so fucking frustrating. If that was me and Leona, I would smash monitor. No, but <laughs> that is obviously very, very frustrating. Because now all your tempo and your hard work on killing the Mumu is completely lost. And yeah, I mean, now we go back to playing bot lane. Because you need to uh, help him crash the wave. And slow push, that's fine. But a worrying trend for me is that you, you have not looked at mid lane once, so you don't know if, if there's roam timer, like a roam possibility, um, after your wave states, and you have not looked at your jungler once. Maybe he's saying what he wants to do, right? But we still want to pay attention. Yeah. Because a lot of the time you're just looking at, at a wave state that is slow pushing, that does nothing to you, right? It, it doesn't give you information because you already know that it's going to be slow pushing. Uh, but I mean, I guess Canon is dead here, so you can freeze. But you already know that it's going to freeze or slow push, whatever. So look at your mid lane or your top lane or your jungler. Ask him if we can do a play or we can make a play on this wave. Right? You also, I don't know if there's someone who's creating or saying the calls or whatever in your team, but giving that guy options is also good. Yeah, I mean, the Scoot is, is the one doing all the early shot calling. Yeah, of course. Which is what we, we uh, agreed to, but... I mean, I don't know. My, my comms here are just really bad. Yeah. As well, I'm like, I'm really inconsistent with, with how much like I FK. Like, in officials, I FK so much, but then it's it like gets a bit worse when we're playing scrims. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it's just I need to get into a better habit. I mean, you need to try and get the scrim environment as close to the competitive environment, right? Yeah. So if you scrim or if you F-key in... Like, that's the thing, right? If you cannot practice in solo queue, at least you need to... Like, at least you need to make the best of the scrim games. Because if you also yep. do not care as much in scrim, you're not going to improve at all. So... 
you need to use those three games and you need to appreciate that you have these three games as much as you can even like five if you have five as well it doesn't matter right no um because again right if you cannot uh improve in solo queue and you just cannot put your mind straight then you need to fucking do it in scrim games and yeah now of course they are trying to break the freeze that's fine because we make a play top so they can um but yeah you have boots now that's nice but you're not using the boots right because if we want to buy boots we want to play the map we don't want to play the lane unless okay. the boots are really really broken But that just leads to, you know, that leads to, what's it called? Um, if you, if you know, if you know for fact that you're going to roam, right? Then having boots is nice. But if you know that you're not going to roam a lot, let's say you have smashing, like you have a really hard winning bot lane, and you having maybe double Kindle gym or whatever, double Kindle gym and uh, tier one boots is... Mm -hmm. Is gonna make you win the lane, then you know you would rather do that. But yeah. like depending on what you want to do in the game, you also need to itemize like itemize that right. Because if you're gonna roam top, and you're gonna roam for the heralds, you're gonna roam to dive or whatever, then boots is fine because you need to go top and then reset go bot. But if you're just playing for the lane, to so then play for the map, then having more tankier, beefier stats with maybe T1 boots is better. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I, I don't really think about that enough, I think. Yeah. Like, if, even if I'm playing for lane, I will just still buy boots. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't, you know, if you... I mean, boots are good, right? Don't get me wrong. But if you know that you're running straight to lane and you're then running to get slow push or whatever, then you can roam. Then, if you're roaming mid, you know, having tier 2 boost is not going to make a difference. You're still going to be there relatively at the same time. But if you have double ruby or something, that's 300 HP more that they need to get past. Plus the T1, because ninja tabbies are not a good item. They're not a good item, unless you play versus a lot of uh, auto tags, right? Like a Draven, like a Jinx, like a Brandemir. That's fine, right? But if they're not high value, then Ninja Tab is, is a fucking shit item. Then I would rather, much rather have Zero Boots and Double Ruby. If you have to go for that, which you should have. Yeah. So so do you think, like, this game specifically, Double Ruby would still be better? Because my mind was, they have Jinx and Trint, who are like their, their mid and bot side. Mm -hmm. And then, like, Nidalee, who's AP. So I was thinking, you get, like, best of both worlds with um, Tabbies and... So you get like the move speed and the armor and then the percent of um, auto attack damage is reduced. So I think in this game, right, after you kill the Mumu uh, and reset, yep. we know that we're gunning, like, we're, we're gunning for, the, for the mid lane and for the Herald, right? Yeah. And I think boots are not bad because, you know, Aatrox is here, uh, Trond is here, so boots are not bad and you're gonna have to go mid into bot side. I think it's fine here for sure. Um, but we didn't do that, right? Because your yeah. communication and your overall knowledge of what you should have done is not there. Yep. Yeah. So we didn't do that, and then it leads to you going back to bot side where there is a Mumu, which you know Ninja is useless against, and then there's also Nidalee playing bot side, so they don't do much. Um, but again, it depends on what you want to do, and usually when you play the Leona, you want to have the boots. Because you're gonna, like, you're gonna roam, right? You're not really playing the Leona to, like, hot smash lane. Even yep. though you can, like, you're still a very tanky champion, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now we're playing, like, we're playing for the, for the setup around the Drake. That's good. And you're, like, here, you're linking up, right? I just want to hear the communication when you reset. I'm basically I'm running to. Nearly yeah. ult. We have ice to pierce the iPod. I think we should stop it. I'm on we can move. Pretty clean the plate. The wall, by the way. Nice. Good job. 
Yeah. yeah. I can't walk. I can't. Of course, I need to reset. That's fine. like the fact that it's not Let's talked about up, that they can look for dive until they make the dive is, is a pretty big again. problem. But yeah, when I build, I can. 30 seconds. And that's it's a secondary. Generate no. bolt. I can't yeah. do much against them. Yeah. Just hatch, it's fine. He's in the middle of right now. I'll poke him out. A bit. Is it not better to play trade first? Uh, if you slow push stuff? Okay. If you want to, but I don't really I want to. I want to set a vision now. I mean, yeah, this is just... I like, I call it that, but that's, that's so late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're already here. Yeah. <laughs> I like, I right click and then I've got like a 15 second delay when I'm like talking. I don't yes. know. So It's like really dis disturbing to watch. <laughs> what you need to do from now on until the day you die. When you press B, the moment you press B, make it a habit that you talk about the next play. Yeah. The moment that you press B, and of course, um, if you kill someone and you the wave then you can do it there but make it a habit that when you press b we talk we talk all the time like what is the next play that you want to make and if there is no play then that's fine but that doesn't happen in so like in team play there's always a play that you can make or should make there's always communication that is lost if you do not talk uh, when you reset so if it's i roam scoot it link up with me then that's what we're gonna do, right? I don't care if it's right or wrong, I care about the concept of you not talking. So make it a habit from now on and make it a rule of thumb that when you press B, you talk about next play. The moment you start B. So maybe maybe you make it the hotkey. <laughs> no, but like when you press B, talk. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah. You just move, you just push stop. Because you're talking about What's making the play now. Or yeah, you're no. talking about making vision now while you're here. So it doesn't really give your jungler time to react, right? It could even be, uh, I want to play vision when you reset, right? I want to play vision, I want to play around the Herald. Or I want to play around the Drake. Scoot, take your two camps and we play vision, right? Yeah. That could be it. You don't even, like, you don't even, you can just make it, mil like, make it really easy for him. Take these two camps, we link up. I think this as well. I don't know why I walk, try and match him. But he doesn't know Scoot's there. Yeah. You could even show that you're out, right? Yeah. Because now he's going to one shot that bitch. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that. Fun. Can't play the game versus a Nitro Fett Talon. And yeah, now we just play the Drake, right? We play the Drake, we make sure that he can take the camps if need be. But the main priority is getting the drake. And when we want to get the drake, just again, a pretty good habit, pretty good rule of thumb. If you can create pressure points, pressure points is, you know, XP and, and minions, or, you know, XP and gold, um, stagnated, or stagged, stacked um, towards the tower, right? So if you push this, that's a pressure point, because if they don't collect the XP and gold, they lose it. And the same with mid, if you do both of them, they need to collect the, collect the XP and gold. And if they just, if they don't care and they come and try to fight it, like you can even be really cheeky and just leave and they lose the XP and gold. You go back, you do the same thing and they do it again. We do it again. Like we are cheeky again and we leave. Like we can continue that trend until they lost, you know, six waves or something. And then they lost an entire level um, on both, both lanes plus XP or uh, yeah, plus XP. But a good farm rule, if you push mid you have a pressure point and they need to collect if you push bot you have pressure point they need to collect uh, and here you do both right at the same time which could lead to in another um game where you don't have perfect vision around the rest here if you don't have perfect vision around them and he takes the mid wave he takes the bot wave and you take the drake you're doing two, you're doing two things like you're doing two things at once right so they could collapse on this or they could just uh, walk straight in and collapse on this but you have perfect vision here so you can do all of it at the same time perfect vision so he can just talk bot and of course then it's really safe um but yeah does that make sense yeah makes a lot of sense so because if you did not vision setup it's like really uh yeah it's really impossible. really it's really possible and then you can say you know it didn't go wrong but that's very result based and 
And if it did go wrong, it could lose you the entire game. Because if you don't, you know, collect the Drake and they punish mid and then go down and go bot or go to the Drake and kill you there, then, oh my god, FF, you know. But you have perfect vision in this spot around the Drake and around the mid lane. So both things are doable at, at once. But again, make it a, a rule of thumb that when you want to play Drake, you have vision, you have waves pushed in, and you have pressure points. And this is pressure point, this is pressure point. And this is also a pressure point, because you're on, you're on the Drake, right? Yep. And this is something, you know, you can talk about with the team, if you want, because it is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now, you know, we get, we get some plate spots, we, we get the Drake, and game is looking really fine. And this is also where you have to decide yourself. Is it worth for us to hit plates rather than me getting a reset timer? And yeah, I, th I think uh, looking at this, it was a bit in for me to stay there. I mean, it's it's in from both of you because we don't see the Nidalee. So she could, like, this is nice try from you. <laughs> if you get the ward here, it's really good because they cannot... Get, I can get it in practice too, easy. And in the game, I can just not do it. I don't yeah. know. Stage, stage, right? But <laughs> if you get the ward here, you know, we're fully covered again, fully covered yeah. from like top to bottom. Uh, they cannot make a play on you without you knowing, but you don't have a ward, so they can obviously jump over with Nidalee. Mm -hmm. um, but a good rule of thumb as well is that if you want to hit the tower, you need to have full vision on the enemy. Yeah. Like, you need to have vision on the enemy because if you don't and they don't come kill you, then it can lead to, you know, us losing the game. Yeah, I think it's just best to hit cannon and then... Yeah, just reset, right? Reset. Because like, now I even, like, steal half a plate. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, he can also not... Like, he doesn't need to take this plate. Do you need this plate to win the game? And would you rather have reset and then take the plates after? Um, like, the first plate is fine. That is, like, one shot, right? He just needs to hit it once and then the minions will do it for him. Um, like, here. As you can see, one second. We are taking the drake. Boom, one, one hit, one auto. Boom, we got the plate. Now we reset, because if we reset, we are not going to lose a single minion, maybe like one or two in bot, and we have reset. So you can move mid, and you can play like full vision around mid, right? Yeah. And now we have full vision, now we can hit plates. Now we can hit plates, because we have the vision, right? Rule of thumb, you need vision before you start hitting plates. Yeah, we're like... Overstaying and it's, it's their time to play now, isn't it? So. Yeah, exactly. It's their time to play because we used our tempo to get one plate and Drake. Because now they are back right on the map and we should not be making a play. Yeah. Yeah, now they are playing and you didn't get to base. Neither did Senna. So now, I mean, they get they to start the Herald. And if it isn't for Scooter being down here, then they get the full tower as well. Yeah. Right. But if you get the reset off and they make this play, we can just kill them. Yeah. And we would also have full vision around mid. So maybe our mid laners or mid lane top wouldn't die. Who knows? Yep. It's not really up for you to decide, right? That's about them playing correctly. But we still need to give them the chance. Because now, look at the map. It's completely dark in bot lane. Because we didn't get to reset. And you could have... Right, you could have reset, ran straight mid, based vision, so we can play bot side. We just let's just say you what here, you what here. I mean, then you can just play bot side, right? But now yeah. we have no vision, and they can come from bot without him being aware. Of course, he should still know after we saw them, but they could come from bot without him being aware. And look, what happened? He's actually from bot side. Of course, you can say your mid laner's inting because he's positioning around bot side. If you can see right. Here, yeah. um, you know, there's two I sides of mid lane. He's, he's trying to make it not obvious that Nas there, but he has no vision, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's there's two sides of mid lane, right? There's this side, and then there's this side, and he's playing on the wrong side. But yeah. of course, you can communicate that he's there, but it would be better for him to have vision. Uh, when like it wouldn't cost you anything, right? And then we try yeah. to make a play here. 
I mean, we didn't get to base, you don't have wards. But we want to base. We need, we want to base. Yeah. What can you do? That guy's like Captain Jack, by the way. That was pretty correct, yeah. He didn't even skip a beat. Yeah, it, it, it looked like I, I forgot to stun him. It, it was so crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty <laughs> insane. <laughs> Reptile. Yeah, he's pretty cracked. He is I pretty almost cracked. joined that team. Yeah. I mean, you would still be playing like an idiot. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> but look, right? If you get the base off, again, we would have full vision. You would have <clears> 600 <throat> gold spent, so you would have another rupee. Or Kindle Gym, but Ruby. Um, you think Ruby is better? Mm, yes. Like, does 10 ability haste make you stun twice in a fight? No. It's gonna be like 0 0.5 seconds or maybe even less uh, on your stun. So it doesn't make a difference where um, 100 HP extra will make a difference. Yeah, I think I'm like too horny for CDR on support. Yeah, I mean, CDR is good if you have a lot of it, but if you only have one, it's like um, it's like having a fork without a knife. Yeah. Right? It's like cutting a, cutting a steak without a knife and having only fork. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, and maybe this fight would have been different if you had your base and you would have full HP, full mana, uh, 100 HP more, plus full vision around bot and pink wards. And it's super easy as long as you just think about it, right? It's not worth to get two plates if it means we have to stay in lane. Yeah. Yeah, and now... I mean, you just try to roam mid or play mid, I guess, and play for the Herald. Mm -hmm. That's fine. One sec, I think my cat is outside. <laughs> Okay, I guess it wasn't outside. <laughs> Anyways, we play mid now. And that's obviously great, because now we can crack the tower and they cannot play pure mid. Yeah, and this is fine. You don't need to kill him, right? If he yeah, doesn't we, have we ult... just want the result, but I yeah. think I'm... I, I mean, I wish my ult. Yeah, yeah. But he probably still is out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, of course, like, you, this champion is not a champion without ult. If it yeah. doesn't have ult, it just dies, right? But if it has ult, it's completely <clears> insane <throat> champion. Uh, so, just let him live. Make sure that he doesn't, you know, he doesn't have ult for, um, for the next Drake fight, and then just fight the Drake, because they cannot do anything when he doesn't have ult. Champ is not a champ. Yeah, and playing for mid tower is good. Really fine with Harold here. And yeah, obviously we shouldn't fight. We should just reset. Play for the play for the Herald. Right, reset and I, mean, I, I think that guy was just really griefing. Of course. Uh, but but of yeah. Of course. He was really trolling it. <laughs> I, I I was like I was about to flash in, but he had stopwatch and I was like, surely they, they have to be like four four people in the bush or he's he's never playing like this, but he was just inting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He was indeed inting. But yeah, this is great, right? We should have reset before. We should not waste time on the Mumu, he's useless. And we should have vision on Drake, because now we don't have vision, and now they are making a play. They make a play on mid. You try to retaliate and go for a play top. Um, but, I mean, you are... <laughs> you're doing neither, right? Yeah. You're not there for top, you're not there for bot, you are just useless. And that's because we waste time. Look. Here, we are, this is great, this is great, but I mean, what will it do? What will it do if you don't reset? You should already start your reset now. Like right now, just reset, right? Yeah. You, you oh, can't... Sweep as well, which was... Yeah. Oh, like, wait, no, I didn't. Like, this is not bad, but here, just reset. What will it do? Yeah, go and hit the tower for 10 damage. Go, go, go. 
right? Yeah. You can only hit tower for 10 or you can dive him. That's, that's what you can do. But you need to think in objectives. If I reset now, you know, I am there before and I can run either mid or bot, place vision, right? Because your talent doesn't look like he wants to reset. If he does reset, that's fine. He can just jump balls and link up with you. But this is, you know, and if you don't play Drake, that's fine. That just means we walk top instead and play Swishin and trade. While they take Drake, we trade. I mean, I, yeah, I was thinking of placing Vision, but then we just lose mid tower, so. Mm. But I don't know if we lose it anyway. Mm, no, I mean, that is because your Senna is also not reset, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, I can't really death it alone. But no, 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 no. But now I'm like too far to to be there when Sen I guess there. I think. Yeah. But if you reset here, also Senna, not you, right? Or if you reset here, she's gonna be there for next mid wave, and you are already there long, long time ago, right? You already placed Vision. Yeah. Because now she resets and it's way too late, and it's a worrying trend for him that he overstays or plate or for wave or whatever. But of course right there Amumu was kinda of griefing it and I would have done the same. Yep. And we take the free stopwatch, but it just means, you know, now they have time to play for the Drake. And if you don't play for the Drake, it's fine. But if you do play for the Drake and you do uh play for the objective, then it's really fucking bad. We're not trading. We're just I mean Maybe Amum was so big brain that he forced that fight so you couldn't play the Drake. But yeah. We don't have setup or anything, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean I, I think we were gonna try to set up for it. We were obviously late, but then because Rai side we looked up instead. Yeah, yeah. And that's a problem, right? That is a big, big problem. Because if you are ahead and you do not get it your way, you fucked up. Right? Yeah. And it's because you didn't reset and you didn't tell your Senna or Talon. I mean, Talon didn't really have to reset, but tell your Senna to reset and play for the, like, Drake. You don't even have to place the Herald there. You can just reset. Then when Drake comes up, we go mid, we create pressure point, we place Herald, they need to collect. And then we have full vision and Drake is yours, right? And you even have a big motherfucking pressure point. You hear me? One two one two. Yeah. Okay. It's just it's dead. No. Oh. Fuck. Okay, there it is. <laughs> there it is. But yeah, if you didn't have to place the herald there, it's kind of troll. We can just do it on on the Drake spawn, and then we get we get the best of both worlds. We get the tower. We get the. We get the Drake. <laughs> And they are forced in a situation where they have to react, right? And that's never good. It's never good if you are in a league game and you are forced to react. Yeah. To a macro decision. Okay, Sen is Vega. No, <laughs> but um, of course this is kind of chain reaction play. There's not really anything to do with you. It's just, it's about Again, right? Now we're trading, we're taking bot, that means they are trading and they are taking top. You need to trade, right? So you need to give them. And here, if you want to fight top, we go five men. Right? Five strong LUTs towards the top side. <laughs> Instead of this, where now they fight, you know, three versus three. They, you can argue here that enemy is always like always extending really hard because they should not be able to take tier two. But yeah. we are not ready for the play, and then you have to give. So we 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 called we want to fight here, but I think now goes in like I mean if if you look at where I am by the time the fight's over, then I'm like just at the tier two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we we just went a bit quick, but yeah. I think we we talked about that mm. uh, in our little review. Yeah, yeah. Right, you're not really playing it as a team. You're just playing it. It looks like solo queue. It looks like solo queue with comps, but competitive play is just uh, a fancy word for solo queue with comps. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, now we lose right. everything, right? 
Yeah, that's when it goes a bit tits up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we 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 tried to flip the the fucking risalt risalting me in, but it's into an amumu. Mm, but the main things that I wanted to learn, uh, I already talked about. No. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna stop it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, game's over at that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>